Hey guys, Omni here. Welcome back. We finally have our second trailer for Blue Beetle. After all of the hoopla online that got James Gunn to be like, uh, let me find out when this trailer is going to be coming out. Because everybody on the internet has been campaigning this thing for them. Because with how things have been going for Warner Brothers and for DC and their marketing team up after everything that's been going on here lately after The Flash... There's surprisingly, well, also unsurprisingly, been next to no marketing for this film, which comes out in just a teeny bit over a month. And, you know, there's been campaigns from fans that have gotten so huge just marketing this for them. It is a very pivotal, important character, whether or not that is integral to the story that James Gunn's eventually going to be telling it's a very important character to a lot of people and i'm excited for this character and i want to see this movie do well so it's it's gotten so loud that even like the director of the film started sharing in the hashtag that the fans themselves created trying to push some buzz for this movie unbeknownst to the actual parent company hosting it until james gunn was like we'll be releasing it soon and then we got the announcement yesterday that a trailer would be coming today and the trailer is now out and this is the second time that that's happened where the only way that we've gotten any information about a project here after The Flash was through James Gunn's reactionary um, involvement on social media, at using his role as CEO to go prod and poke the uppers and get something to happen. And one of those, the other thing was with Doom Patrol, when Michelle Gomez was like, guys, I don't think the final six episodes of our final season are even going to be released at this point, which rose a stir in the, in the fandom for that, which is something, honestly, with how things have been going and how they've been just, like, just deleting stuff from Max. I had said that on my stream, like, maybe last week or this past one, that I was just like, you know, I wouldn't be shocked at this point if they just don't release the ending of that show. And that got a huge stir. And James Gunn was like, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm My head's in Creature Commandos and Superman right now, but let me see if I'll find out. And then came back moments later, being like, guys, I got confirmation that will be coming out. What is the marketing team over at Warner Brothers doing right now? I have no clue. Do they do? Are they just broke? <laughs> I don't know. I mean... The Flash bombing was a huge hit to their uh, margins, I have to imagine. And they they took a huge loss on that movie as it stands at the moment. But anyway, I'm ready for Blue Beetle. Let's check out this new trailer. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna fly. Let's do this. Yo, dude, I like the Ted Cord style uh, tracksuit. Up, 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 and away, web. Danger's one way to always get the scarab to do something. Hell yeah, man, that looked great. When you stuck him with this world destroying thing, it's called the scarab. I had no idea it would activate. It has to choose you. So how do we get it to unchoose me? Oh my god. the government is going to do when they figure out that some kid has this military tech. We are going to change the world with the power of the scarab. It belongs to me. Yo. Oh, he's pissed. Dude. Place to protect. I have an arsenal at my disposal. Anything, please. Watch and learn, Kaime. <laughs> you can imagine. I 
Like Yo, ho, ho, ho. the love you feel for your family makes you weak. You're wrong. My family, that's what makes me strong. Oh, 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 God. Dude, hell yeah, man. Dude. Dude, it's giving me chills, man. What the? <laughs> what? <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> oh, and again these oh, i love it man hey i know it looks like basically your formulaic origin story but i don't give a shit man honestly i don't really care if you stick to a formula if you do it well if you have fun with it and this movie looks like it's having fun with it and i just i can only hope that based on these trailers that i can be semi-confident that it's going to do it well I really like the energy behind it. I love the color palette of this whole film, the way it's with the neon aesthetics of the blue, pink, purple, and all that, the way the colors pop in the darkness, and where you just kind of have this, this kid at the core who's now given this, if you want to like compare him to other people, he's very much like if you took like Spider-Man symbiote and made it like Iron Man. And you just blended all those concepts together because it is a suit. It is technology, but it also is sentient. It t thinks. It acts on its own accord. And there's this uh, this synergy that has to come between the two as they connect and work together. It will defend him no matter what. It will protect him no matter what. And sometimes with lethal force if necessary. And that's where he's got to come in to kind of rein it down. So it is almost this like this lethal protector kind of deal where he's got this responsibility now thrust upon him. And I, I just love I really do love this character. It's very different from Ted Cord or from Dan Garrett and their runs under this mantle. The suit itself just looks so good because it is mostly practical as well from we've seen from the set photos that came out well before we got our first teaser. It looks great. And then you have him facing off against, you know, Ted Cord's sister who is now running Cord Industries, which also we, since we know in the last trailer, Ted Cord and Dan Garrett do exist in this world. Their suits are in this kind of like little beetle cave that they find themselves in that has all this stuff about the scarab and all the previous blue beetles and whatnot, and those connections. It just makes me wonder what happened to them in this world. And it's another thing that I'm really looking forward to about James Gunn's DCU is that we're stepping into a world that already has had heroes. You know, even though Superman is the first in the, the first chapter, the first entry in James Gunn's chapter, the story that he's telling, we're in a world that's already been living. It's got an ecosystem that's been operating without us as the audience. And I kind of like that about it. And we're coming into this, and it just leaves me with a lot of questions about that and what they're going to do with it. Then you have Conrad Carapax in here, you know, the indestructible man who we see in here suiting up and whatnot, who's like, again, another comic accurate representation of a character. Like, that suit looks just right off the page for both of them, for both of these characters. Like, it is a true-to-life representation of that aesthetic right off the page again he's probably not known at all outside of these spheres i definitely didn't know who he was outright until the first trailer when i started to look into the movie more you know i know jaime but i know jaime mostly as how he relates to other characters how he's been involved in other stories and other mediums his interactions through them that i'm just so excited to see them expand that and get in, to get more involved with it and to see how far this this they dive into the origins of the scarab, you know, because there's a whole thing that can't whole can of worms that can open up for the greater universe. And if we're talking like potential threats 
and stuff like that, which will be pretty wild if they ever explore that and its origins. I'm a sucker for a good family story, man. You know, just like with Shazam, I love the family element of it. And I think if this does it even half as well as that, I think this could do really, really well. Um, I don't know what the general audience is going to be looking from at this from the outside for people who don't aren't really familiar with the character or the world or anything like that. I don't know how much this is going to sell them on it. I really hope this movie does well. I really do. Um, I just for the character more than just for the DC universe, more for the character is what I, I want this for and for Sholo and anybody who would be looking out for this character as a beacon uh, for themselves. I really want that so much for this movie, man. With that said, guys, what did you think of the trailer? What are your thoughts? Sound off the comments. Let me know down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already, and we'll be keeping tabs with this as we go along. But in the meantime, and before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Manny Share, Ryan, Karen, Philly Vane, Yori Corey Scott, Margaret Grace, Melita, Robert Anguiano, Jeffrey Hale, M. Sephiroth, Jake Contrell, and Eric Official. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. But that's it for this video, guys. And I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.